one of the things that Bryce is just fantastic at, and really, in my opinion, isn't really topped by anything that you know the the home user can afford, is creating landscapes. However, there are times when you want to import a model that already exists, and in order to do that, um, you can download models from the internet. You can incorporate them from other programs. Um, for example, if you create something in Poser, save it as a DXF or a 3DS or something, you can import them into Bryce. Now, you can't animate them the same way that you can, you know, in in the Bryce pro I mean, in the Poser program, but you know, you can do this. Um, so I'm going to go out here and I'm going to import um, some models that I downloaded from the internet. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do File Import Object. Okay, now it comes up to a folder that I've already been using to import an object, and that is my X-Wing 3DS folder. Now, one of the things I like about the X-Wing model, you'll see that it's going to take a minute to import, but the, the textures and stuff are included with the model that I downloaded. What that means is I don't have to go in and texture everything, which is good, because when you bring in a model from another program, Bryce isn't that great at letting you edit it. You may have to break it apart and then group it back together. Um, so in this case, all of the models and stuff, all the textures are applied. So let me bring this up and give you an idea of what the X-Wing looks like. Okay. So you can see that parts of this apparently didn't come in. For example, these little pieces here aren't connected to anything and maybe that's because you can break this up and you know adds I'm not sure what I, have, I haven't really looked at it that closely but you can see that the model has a lot of really good textures um, one of the things that you can do and I'll, I'll mention this now because I've, I'm doing it is I can ungroup this and now each of these little pieces and click off are their own component which can help because I can actually click that and click that and then they are separated and gone. So I can select it all again and then click the G to group it again. Alright, so if I was to view it again, hopefully it's all one big piece. Alright, now obviously you'd want to go in and add some, you know, um, landscape or maybe put it in space or, you know, if you want to just plop it on the ground, you can just click the down arrow and it'll be sitting on the ground or at least close to the ground maybe you want to do a bog scene and put Yoda in there or something um, but anyway that's the way you can import a model from another program and hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I do um, it's there's nothing quite like making a really good space scene or a futuristic city and then having you know a, a Star Wars ships cruise through but of course I'm a geek so anyway have fun